Managing state in an application full of components can be difficult. Facebook discovered this the hard way, which is why they created the Flux pattern, which Vuex is designed after. Vuex is Vue's own state management pattern and library. And in this video, I'll be showing you why you might need Vuex and how it can enhance your application. When we talk about state, we mean the data that your components depend on and render, things like blog posts, to-do items, and so on. Without Vuex, as your app grows, each view component might have its own version of state. But if one component changes its state, and a distant relative is also using that same state, we need to communicate that change. There's the default way of communicating events up and passing props down to share data, but that can become overly complicated. Instead, we can consolidate all of our state into one place, one location that contains the current state of our entire application, one single source of truth. This is what Vuex provides, and every component has direct access to this global state. And just like the Vue instances data, this global state is reactive. So when one component updates the state, other components that are using that data get notified, automatically receiving the new value. But just consolidating data into one single source of truth doesn't fully solve the problems of state management. What happens when many different components alter the state in different ways from different locations? We need some standardization, otherwise changes to state could be unpredictable and untraceable. This is why Vuex provides a full state management pattern for a simple and standardized way to make state changes. And if you're familiar with Vue, Vuex should look pretty similar. Just like we create a new view instance, we can create a new Vuex store with new Vuex.store. While the instance has data, the Vuex store has state, both of which are reactive. The view instance has methods, which among other things can update our data, while the Vuex store has actions, which can update the Vuex state. And while the instance has computer properties, which can access our data, the Vuex store has getters, which can access our state. The difference here is the store also has mutations. Mutations are used to commit and track state changes. It's a best practice to have our actions call mutations which update our state directly. And by using the view dev tools, we can do time travel debugging and we can roll back a mutation which reverts the state to its previous value. So let's look at an example Vuex store. In our state, we have a loading status as well as a to-dos array. In our mutations, we have set loading status, which takes the state of our loading status and updates it. And we have set to-dos, which takes the state of our to-dos and sets it accordingly. Then in our actions, we have fetch to-dos. Let's walk through this code. We're taking in the context object, which contains all the properties of our Vuex store, which allows us to commit mutations. The first mutation we're committing is set loading status which will set the loading status to loading. Then we're making an API call, and when that response returns, we'll commit the set loading status mutation again, setting it to not loading. And finally, we'll commit set to do's, setting the to do state with the response we got from our API call. If we need the ability to only retrieve the to do's that are labeled done, we can use a getter for that, which will retrieve only the specific state that we want. Now let's look at Vuex in motion. From our component, we could dispatch the fetch to do's action, and that'll run all the code we just looked at. First, it'll commit the set loading status mutation. Which updates our loading status state to loading. Then we'll fetch our data. And when that data is retrieved, We'll commit our set loading status again, updating our loading status to not loading. And finally, we'll commit the set to do's mutation, which sets the to do state with the API's response. And if we only wanted to get the done to do's, we can use the getter to achieve that. Then if we look at the view dev tools, we could see a timestamped record of each mutation that was committed. 
Hopefully you now understand how Vuex can enhance your application by providing a single source of truth for your state and a useful library of actions, mutations, and getters. To continue learning about Vuex, you can check out the official Vuex documentation, or to continue learning with me, you can head over to viewmastery.com and watch our entire Mastering Vuex course. We have over an hour's worth of Vuex content. Hope to see you there.